So I want to explain one method of hard coding, uh, embedding the subtitles into the video. And we're going to be using Media Player Classic and XVID, uh, XVI D4 PSP version 5. And version 5, that, that matters because I've had issues doing this <clears throat> with more recent versions of this software. So I'll have a link for you to download version 5. So the first thing I'm going to do is I have to create um, an SSA file where the text is styled before I actually embed that to the video itself. So in order to do this, um, I'm going to drag in the video file, which you have to, first you have to obtain the video file. And that, that is a whole topic in itself. How can I obtain the video file with a clear conscience and have permissions to be doing this? And a lot of ministries also have everything backed up on a Vimeo channel. And they have downloads turned on. So you're able to actually download the video file uh, from Vimeo. For example, here I can click download and I can actually download the video file to have that. Because you're not able to do that with YouTube. And if you use a third-party software to download it on YouTube, you're actually breaking their terms of use. So you're not able to go that route as well. So you actually need the ministry to be sending you the file or you need to have permission and the ability to say download it from Vimeo. So I'll, I'll probably have another video talking more about that, but it's important um, to have a clear conscience in what you're doing and have adequate permissions. So I first have, I've just dragged and dropped the video um, onto uh, Media Player Classic, and now I'm going to drag and drop the SRT file. And um, maybe first, just you can see this is what the SRT file is. Uh, it has it has the line number. It has the timings. This will show from this amount of time to that amount of time. And there is the translation. Okay, so we're going to drag that on, and now I will hit play. Come and that is uh, the default way that it's going to look. And so, depending on how you're wanting to design this, you would then basically go in and go to sub uh, right click on the video and then go to subtitle track and do styles and so a, a lot of times what i've personally done is i will keep it on outline and i will do a width of four and a shadow of two and i'll hit okay and hit play and this is going to be visible be found. so you got a little more thickness there and so often Christians admire contentment. You could change the font size if you wanted. You could um, hit opaque box and you could add like a width of 14 and shadow one. And and they long see for what it. that looks and like. They confess they're strangers to contentment. And they make it so unattainable. They say, oh, if only I had this. And that, that could be nice um, because of what distractions might be behind the text. Now, when you do this, uh, let's find a line that's too tall. Looks like I might not have one. Okay, there one is. So if I go to subtitle track styles and I want to change the opacity um, to make it more visible, and I go to the uh, outline and I lower that. <laughs> I click it again. Let's even lower that some more so you can see better. <clears throat> Notice this. You get this nasty overlap. And that's, that's just how um, this works in this program. And if you go to your styles, you, you don't have a way of... Um, this spacing deals with the letter spacing. And so you don't have a good way to change the line height um, in order to have the box more opaque um, and transparent and have these lines further apart. So when I've used a background color, I, I tend to just have it not opaque at all. Not. And, and then it, it looks fine like that. So in this case, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and do the outline method. Um, and we're going to do with a four, shadow a two. And actually, 
the way that it looks right now, probably with a five. Not <laughs> will be done. Dentment. And this font, to, I mean, this is a great font, aerial font, um, and, and the size, I tend to leave it at the default of 18. Uh, you have to consider um, if you... Now, since it's not... Since this is not actually embedded yet, when you slow it down or uh, scale it like that, you see how the font, you see how the, uh, the outline is getting really thick. Well, that, that's just because I haven't actually embedded this yet. And so that's, that's not an issue. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, save this out. So file, subtitles, save the subtitle file. And we're going to save this as a SSA, a substation alpha. And then we're going to hit save. And then you'll basically load in XVID and do the same thing. You could uh, load the video in, so hit open. And um, let's grab the video file. So we got the video. And um, in this case, uh, because I have the video in the exact same um, folder as the SSA, it automatically loaded in the SSA. But you, if you don't have it in the same folder uh, where it has the same name on the file as well, in order for it to do that, just go ahead and hit Add, and you can load in the SSA. So there we go. I mean, we've got, you know, I, I, I like that. I think it's easy to read. Um, and I've had good feedback on this style and um, you know, you're able to do this with these two softwares and it's free and so from here you would basically hit encode and then you would save out your file and it's now going to um, embed this together and export it. Uh, there are other video settings that you could change over here and work with. And I'll have an explanation uh, on the translatesermons.com website where this is posted um, on what some recommended settings are. Um, on my computer with uh, 32 gigs of RAM and a quad-core processor, this is taking around five minutes for a clip that is, what is this, a five-minute excerpt? So for a full sermon, it might take me around 40 minutes. Yeah, and this is a 4 minute and 57 minute clip. And so I'm going to go ahead and pause this while we wait for this to finish um, embedding. Okay, so it is finished and I hit close on a window that uh, was prompted on. And I will go ahead and load this video. Where can contentment be found? And so often... Christians admire contentment and they long for it and they confess they're strangers to contentment. And they make it so unattainable. They say, oh, if only I had the second blessing. So if you're on a mobile I would be. Um, device I and you're viewing this, since the subtitles are embedded and they're not scaling based on um, the size of your viewing, you know, this is very readable for someone on a mobile device. So this is, this is a way to take two free softwares, XVID version 5, or not XVID, XVID um, for PSP version 5, and to take Media Player Classic and to embed the subtitles in a way that looks clean and that is, is readable. Um, this is not the best method in order to have some type of opaque box and container by which the text is is in most of those softwares would cost money to use so i hope this is helpful